physicsinfo.co.uk Another in the series of Physics GCSE Tutorials. Topic 11, Static Electricity. This is a separate science only topic. These perhaps are what comes to mind when we think of static electricity in physics. It is insulators that are charged by friction and it is electrons that are added or taken away. Gaining electrons results in a negative charge. Losing electrons results in an equal and opposite positive charge. Like charges repel and unlike charges, opposite charges attract. When we're talking about static electricity, protons do not move. Large charges, charged bodies, can attract and repel only the electrons, leaving the protons behind and inducing an opposite charge. This can be demonstrated using a balloon that is an insulator. In this diagram, on the left is a sweater, in the middle an insulator, and on the right-hand side a wall. Rubbing the insulator against the sweater drags electrons from the sweater onto the balloon. Moving the balloon towards the wall induces an opposite charge and the opposite charges then attract. This is perhaps better explained by looking at the charges involved. You can see the electrons rubbing onto the balloon. The sweater then becomes positive. Negative balloon, positive sweater, they're attracted to each other. But if you move the balloon towards the wall, it pushes the electrons away, leaving the positive protons behind. Opposite charges now attract, and the balloon sticks to the wall. You should be able to explain the following in terms of the movement of electrons. First of all, shocks from everyday objects, such as car doors or door handles. I hate that. Why do you get shocked sometimes when you get out of your car? Or when you touch a doorknob? Or when you take off a sweater and hug someone? Now back to the car. The violent event here is when you get out of the car, you slide across the seat, and both you and the seat become charged. And now some of that charge will leave your body into the air. But if the air is cold enough and dry enough, and you touch the metal soon enough, that charge will quickly leave your body into the metal, and you will feel that. And you'll hear it too as a shock. So how do you prevent this from happening? Well, don't keep yourself isolated. As you get out of the car, touch the metal on the side of the car, and even if charge is building up on you, it'll continually flow into the metal, and it won't build up enough on you to shock you. Problem solved. Lightning, too, is an electrostatic phenomenon. Small ice crystals circulating in thunderclouds build up a large electrostatic charge. The underside of these clouds becomes incredibly negatively charged. The clouds induce an opposite charge in the ground, or actually in this case, in the trees. And then a spark jumps from the cloud to the ground. And then there's the attraction due to an induced opposite charge. Examples would be, as seen before, the balloon sticking to a wall or a comb being used to pick up pieces of paper from the table. Moving a negative charge towards the wall induces a positive charge in the wall and the opposites attract and there is no attraction between an ordinary comb and bits of paper sitting on the table. But rub electrons 
onto the comb with a cloth and things are very different. The comb now picks up the bits of paper without any difficulty. Opposite charge has been induced, the negative comb causing one end of the paper to become positive. And finally, we look at the uses and dangers associated with electrostatic charge. Many years, there were no real choices in spraying technology. A solution emitted from a conventional hydraulic sprayer covers only the top or front of the object, but leaves much of the target uncoated, especially on the back or underneath side. Electrostatic spraying systems has changed that. Now you can coat the entire targeted object. Spray is atomized as the droplets pass an electrode inside of the nozzle head. Electrons are induced onto the droplets as they leave the nozzle with a highly negative charge. The negatively charged droplets are carried by a stream of air following the electrical field of force lines towards the target without losing their charge. The closer the charged droplets get to the target, the stronger the electrostatic force of attraction. And see for yourself. The first apple will be sprayed with a conventional spray technique without an electrostatic charge. Now we apply the electrostatic charge to the sprayer and coat the second apple. Which would you prefer? Electrostatic spraying is cheaper, more efficient, and with reduced use of chemicals, more environmentally friendly. You can see a similar effect with this electrostatic spray painting. The dangers we need to know are associated with the refueling of aircraft and cars. Static electricity can cause problems. Every time an aircraft takes on fuel, there's a build-up of charge as the liquid rubs against the rubber pipe. To prevent the charge causing an explosive spark, a wire is connected between the tanker and the metal body of the aircraft before the fuel is pumped. The line ensures that no charge can build up on the plane. Both tanker and plane also have special tyres which conduct electricity to the ground. A similar charge builds up as the plane rushes through the air, rubbing past air particles. And whilst this is a video supposedly about the dangers of using a mobile phone in a petrol station, you can see how static charge builds up on the driver as she gets in and out of the car. Remember, a build-up of static charge can result in a spark. And this is why we have to hold on to the nozzles in UK petrol stations. When we were looking at crop spraying, we talked about electric fields. And electric field lines flow out from a positive charge and in towards a negative charge. We represent these field lines with arrows pointing out away from a positive charge and in towards a negative one. The same is true for a pair of electric plates. Here, the field lines are parallel and evenly spaced. They are also perpendicular to the faces of the plates. The closer together the field lines, the stronger the field. And that's it. Thank you for watching.